Hey, welcome to Epic Quest Beauty. My name is Christina and I am so excited to be doing this. This is my first video, so please um, bear with me as we kind of figure this out where it's going to be. I'm going to ask you guys to comment, subscribe, and then I'm going to say you don't have to subscribe, but I really hope you do. Um, I will link everything I use in this video below. Some of the links below will be affiliate or associate links. If you want to purchase anything, if there is a resource for you, I would make a small commission over it, but please don't feel any obligation to do so. So if you want to see how I made this super fun, peachy, pinky, wild haired 80s goddess dream, then uh, keep watching my video, my very first video. I'm really excited to share with you guys what made me want to give this a try. And it's kind of, it's kind of a long story. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So we're just going to do a quick little, well, I've already, I've already explained to you what we're doing today. So let me just get into it. All right, let's get started. I've already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I know that there's a lot of people who think there are better primers out there, and there probably is, but like the old school wannabe goth in me still wants Urban Decay to be cool, and I will always try to buy, buy their products. Before I get into the story, I'm gonna do a quick um, wash of color with my transition stain today, which is actually also my blush, and that is going to be a Benefit product in Georgia. It's a great, like, sort of peachy, nudie blush for fair skin. So I used to love, 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 love watching beauty YouTubers. A couple years ago, that was 95% of my like personal entertainment. And my favorite was this creator called Tati Westbrook. She did a lot of like everyday styles, which for me was perfect because I, I'm 40 years old. I have a full-time corporate job. Like I loved just being learning how to do my makeup. So every day, at 10 o'clock um, Pacific Standard Time, she would upload. And every day at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I would take my lunch. And I'd get in my car and I'd be happy as a clam and I would watch her. So in that obsession, <laughs> I bought this palette. I know some people don't like it and that's okay, but I love it. It is so basic. It is your basic, bitch palette but it is awesome it is pretty and I love it so hard so I'm going to be doing that beautiful orange look using this palette I watched her every single day and this was a couple years ago when beauty YouTube was really like really hot you know and they had a couple of different creators and they were all traditionally attractive people I felt like they all fit a certain mold. Very, very pretty, very young, very thin, very fair. And I didn't fit all those things. So it never occurred to me in a million years, million and million years to look at this as a hobby. Look at this as anything above and beyond just an entertainment. And I, for years, just kind of watched a couple of different people. You know, I watched like all the, all the big names, all the big names that are now not as big anymore. I wasn't as into skincare and I didn't really know that much about makeup, but it was a fun pastime and it was always something that I enjoyed, I enjoyed doing. It was a lot, a lot of fun for me. A couple of years ago, there was this big sort of drama that hit in the beauty community. Drama happened. I'll just say that. Lots and lots of drama. And I, it, it, it disappointed me. You know, I came here to learn. I came here to enjoy. I have a pastime called live action role playing or LARPing. And there's a lot of drama in that pastime. 
I don't need more in my entertainment. So I really got annoyed with beauty and stopped watching beauty YouTube. And honestly, I stopped wearing makeup a lot for a, a good while. You know, I stopped, I stopped wearing a bunch of makeup and I just, I was, I was mad. I was mad at the community that I adored. And that's where I was. But then I got super into skincare, like super into skincare. And I found a whole new group of people that felt so much less, okay, I'm gonna say it, problematic. Like there, I didn't seem to have the same there didn't seem to be the same issues, the same personality issues. It, it seemed like the whole community honestly supported each other. You know, there's been a couple of little like blips where people have gotten mad uh, on certain things in the community, but it's not like, it doesn't seem to be like drama. Drama. So there I was watching all like the skincare stuff that I adore and then watching, continuing to watch this. Hmm? Let me do a little buffing out here. Continuing to watch Jackie Ina. And then through her, I was able to find a couple of other black creators, specifically like plus size um, fashion haul creators, which I love to watch because I am a size 22. And those ladies, find some beautiful things to wear and I was able to find a couple of things and through them I, I don't know where the algorithm went but with the combination of Jackie Ina and um, those plus size creators which I'll link everything below and it brought me to um, two creators in the beauty community specifically and then through them a third one and then I kind of fell in love with the beauty industry again and the three creators who truly inspired me to get back into beauty and enjoy it was Smoky Glow, Teresa Is Dead, and Michelle Wong. And I had my entertainment back. You know, I could sit there and watch them and enjoy their commentary and just enjoy makeup again. And I started kind of trying makeup again and getting into it and loving it. And then the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> then all hell broke. Well, then 2020 happened. 20 fucking 20. <sighs> so I work in sales. I provide equipment and resources to hospitals. So I have been very busy this year, as one could imagine. And I work from home right now because though I am an essential worker, I can work from home. Now I am an extrovert. I like humans. I like people. I like you a lot. So I found myself desperately looking for noise in my room, some type of noise. And I remembered YouTube. Ah, uh, God bless the YouTubes. So I started watching all of my favorite people. I would have my skincare channels on. I would have all of my great makeup channels on. And it was, it gave me something to have on in the background. So I didn't go insane with the silence. So I'm watching Teresa is Dead, one of her cute videos. And she mentions this one, you know, randomly mentions this one palette, whatever, and goes on her way. And that's the, like, it was a 30 second me mention. However, that's when everything changed. Fast forward to Christmas 2020. There's some weird stuff going on with my paycheck. So I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna be able to even have like a Christmas. I, I just don't know if that's gonna be able to be a thing. look at it I know I don't have the best camera and but oh this color oh the color I love the orange I know 
It's so basic, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, anyways, I digress. So money, money's an issue. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford a Christmas for my family. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my favorite BB cream from Misha. Um, it is a Korean brand, so I will just be blunt the color options on it for this brand sucks. Um, but my paycheck comes. Thank God my paycheck comes and I'm able to go shopping. And I find myself at the one place that I know is going to have everything I need. And I mean everything that I need to um, make a great Christmas. And that is Walmart. <laughs> so this is the pandemic. This is 2020. And I'm in Walmart Christmas Eve of 2020, having just gotten paid with my budget in hand, trying to find cute things for us. And I go to the makeup aisle. My eldest is 18 and she is constantly looking for a good black lipstick. A bit more. <laughs> and I really like the Wet n Wild um, liquid catsuit uh, formula. I think it's pretty solid for being as inexpensive as it is. So I go to Walmart's little, you know, area specifically to get her that and a couple of little like stocking stuffer things. So there I am and I look over and I see the palettes that Teresa's dead was talking about and they're five bucks. I'm like, I got a budget, $5 palettes. I really don't care if they're crap. That is a perfect stocking stuffer. And so I pick them up and go about my way and expect nothing. I expect nothing. I expect nothing from these things. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Their normal camo concealer is a little too dry for me. Um, I am... <laughs> I am over 25. I'm 40. It's okay. We can we can embrace our age. Um, so I'm trying the hydrating one to see how it works. And then I'm also going to be just like super careful with my concealer. I'll try not to. Okay. So dab there. Dab there. Couple dabs there. Couple dabs there. I do like to add just a little extra coverage to my nose and then like add a little coverage to some sunspots. But I don't like to do the whole like huge triangle concealer oh, just all the, everywhere, conceal a face. No, it's, it's okay skin. Skin's allowed to look like skin. Also these, oh my God. Okay, so I love Beauty Blender. Who doesn't love Beauty Blender? I don't love spending $20 on Beauty Blender. This is a not Beauty Blender brand and they are awesome. So I find these palettes. I pick up uh, one color story I think uh, the kid will like, one color story that I will like. I come home, I think nothing of it. I, I, don't even, I don't even think I wrap them to stick them in the stockings. I just stick them in the stockings. Oh. <laughs> just take my eye out this is a lot this works for me a lot better than the than the full than the full coverage I mean well like they're both pretty like they're both pretty nice coverage but this works for me a lot better than the drier one the other camo concealer reminds me a little bit of Chart Tarte Shake Tape which didn't work very well for me either because again I actually have fine lines and stuff will settle in them Christmas morning happens and we unwrap all of our presents, have a lovely morning. You know, the girl is happy about her gift. I'm happy about my gifts. Nice morning, you know, beautiful Christmas day. All in all, super successful. I'm happy. I'm going to set with the Color Girl Advanced Radius. As you can tell, I super duper love this. I have a new one. 
I purchased a new one, but I have no idea where it is. So you guys are gonna use the old, well-loved one. It's a very simple powder. I use it for my whole face because I don't use a lot of setting. Just a lovely, inexpensive, lovely powder to have. and Just kind of lightly set everything. If you want super like locked in, uh, this isn't the powder for you. We can, we can find what that is. My husband is up taking a nap and the eldest and I decide that we are going to play around with makeup. And so we decide to do this absolutely ridiculous look and I use this stuff and it's like, it's really good. Like, excuse me, pardon me here. It's super, it's really solid. So we really, really enjoy using this stuff. And those of you who follow me on Instagram will know the stuff I'm talking about. Those who do not, well, you'll find out next week because I'm doing a full brand review. <laughs> Cause that was my thought. Why is no one talking about this? Like I know it's cheap. I know it is a inexpensive brand, but this is really good. And I'm have the rest of my day, right? The rest of the day happens. I maybe have a tad too much eggnog and I sign up for YouTube that night. So I go to sign up for YouTube and it asks me, what is your name? But I didn't want to just use my name. So I sat back and I thought, and like I really thought. As you can tell by my background, I am a bit of a geek. And I have been part of sort of geek and nerd culture for a while. I do something called live action role playing, which is I am an adult who still likes to play dress up. I have done cosplay before, again, there's a little bit of a, I am plus size, so there's some drama I don't want to deal with, with when it comes to that. So the idea of quests, the idea of searching is not foreign to me. It's not unusual to me. It's, it's part, a lot of the part of the mythology that I enjoy. I was raised by mostly my dad. And there's a lot about being a woman that even at 40, even having raised a daughter to 18, and I have another one, there's still a lot about being a woman that I don't understand. And there's certain beauty rituals and certain things that, you know, most moms teach their daughters that I don't get. And if I'm gonna do something, I'm not gonna just, ex exploration beauty, no. I'm not gonna just, oh, you know, um, maybe, Maybe it's a trick, maybe it's a, no. No, if I'm doing something, it is an epic quest. Hello adventurers, you find yourself in a tavern. And if you don't know what that means, that's okay. Um, you will learn. <laughs> Every good D&D &D game starts with your adventurers and your parties in a tavern. So epic quest beauty was born. I still look back at the old YouTubers that I used to watch and go like, what right do I have to be here? You know, there's still part of me that wonders, what right do I have to start a beauty YouTube channel? What right do I have to, like, I don't even have that big of a collection you know, like I, I don't have, I don't have a collection. I don't have, you know, years in the industry. I don't have, I don't have all this insight to offer, at least not insight that anybody else in this forum doesn't already have. You know that scene from a King's Speech? Um, if you haven't seen it, you have to see it. It's a great movie. And there's this scene where the king just screams in frustration. I have a voice. That's what I have. I have a voice. And I don't know who wants to hear it. I don't know if it's just gonna be me and my friends geeking out over makeup and, 
and skincare and like beauty rituals for the next you know year before I go okay thanks guys a lot of fun I'm done but I have a voice and that's what gives me the right to do this here are my ideas for this channel and I want to discuss it with you guys because I think we're in a really unique position to make this channel what we would like to see. But those of you who are into beauty and into skincare and into kind of watching this unfold on YouTube, I would really, I'd really love to do this with you. I'd really love to create this with you. I think this is a great chance for us to do this together. On Instagram, I'm going to do a lot more, like I talk about my nails and uh, talk about my weight loss journey, talk about health. YouTube at this point, I'm going to keep it beauty, makeup, skincare, and kind of beauty ritual focused. And it is going to be an exploration that we're all going to go on together. And I really hope you guys have as much fun with it as I do. I do want to address something uh, future me is going to mention at the beginning of the video. So hi, this is past me talking to future me. Yes, this is my first video. And yeah, it I do have affiliate links and associate links. Well, associate links. It's Amazon associate links. And I know that that is going to cause some people to want to like grasp their pearls. Here's the thing. Let's let's I'm going to start this whole thing with open honest communication. Am I starting this adventure thinking that I'm going to become a millionaire off of, you know, this no, no. Um, it, I think it. I think it'd be fun to have a new career, but I am not doing this with the expectation of making all this money. This has expenses. You know, this is not free. I don't. I. I might end up getting like promotional stuff in the future, but I don't have it now. So anything that I do for this channel costs me. You know, it costs me money, like real, like real money. Like this isn't playtime money. This is, you know, it's actual money. And I'd like to put food on my family. So yeah, if I can recoup a little bit of what I spend on this channel, or if I can make a little extra to help um, put my daughter through college, I'm gonna. And I don't think, I don't think I or any other creator or artist should ever apologize for wanting to make money. But here's my commitment to you. Well, first and foremost, you never ever have to purchase anything I'm talking about. Honestly, the only thing you ever need in your routine is skincare, and that's sunscreen. Other than that, you don't need makeup. So never feel any obligation to buy anything I talk about, anything, except for the sunscreen. And then you don't even have to buy my sunscreen or the sunscreen I'm talking about. Just buy sunscreen. Wear sunscreen. I don't care what color you are. Wear sunscreen. So here are my promises to you. Right now, you get an episode a week. And if I'm able to do more or if editing becomes easy or if there's things that we enjoy doing that um, I'm able to do it more, I will. But right now, I can commit to an episode a week. I will always tell you if something's an affiliate link or if something's an ad or anything like that. Now, yes, I know I'm required to, but I'm actually going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to write it. I'm going to, there's never going to be any, you know, doubt in your mind if something is, is something I can possibly make money off of. You have no obligation to spend any money on any of this stuff. It'll help me if you do, but there's no obligations. And I'm also not going to have this a uh, long conversation with you again about it because I'll just mention it and move on from now on. But this is my first video and you know, I want to just make sure everything's out in the open. So here are some of my video ideas. I always thought it'd be fun to do like, um, an Instagram made me buy it cause there's some wacky crap on Instagram. I think it would be fun to do like a mom tries makeup trend, you know, mom tries goth makeup and the hint I, I already know how to do goth makeup, but you know. Obviously brand reviews are going to be a thing. Brand reviews for me will be like a full face of 
blah brand, but it'll be something that I've worn for a week or two. And I can come to you guys and go, here was my experiences. Here's how I was able to make this work. I love formats like this, you know, formats that are more like get ready with me and a little less formal. I really dig. Sorry about the mascara guys. I always feel like putting on mascara on camera is, is like that one scene from <laughs> Clockwork Orange with his eyes open. Sorry. I definitely want to do a story time thing, you know, where I do like a makeup look around this great old mythology that's going to be like a voiceover. <sighs> if anybody watching knows how to do a voiceover on the iPhone, please comment below or if you know me like slide in my DMs because I'm having a hard time doing a voiceover and for the makeup and mythology, I really think doing a voiceover is going to be the best way to do it. So I could use some help with that. Oh my gosh, that mascara is pretty. It's the L'Oreal Air Volume, Air Volume Mega Mascara. If it doesn't fall on me, cause mascara always falls or transfers on me. It's really nice. I'll let you guys know if it falls on me. Other ideas, obviously I wanna do makeup brands, indie brands, small brands. Um, really wanna support small business. Supporting small business is so great. I already have a small business idea. Um, I just need, you know, to buy the stuff and get it and then go through it. If this is something that you would find interesting, that you would enjoy, then subscribe. This Pat McGrath lipstick is the best, the best matte. It is super duper comfy. I do not feel like I have to um, line my lips with this at all. This is the color Christy, which I just adore. It's beautiful by itself. It's also beautiful with the Fenty lip gloss and fussy, but I think today we're just going to keep it matte. Really, I want us to do this together, guys. You know, I really want us to have a lot of fun creating this thing, and I would love your help. I'm still fighting the demons that tell me that I shouldn't be doing this, that I'm too old, I'm too fat, I don't have enough, I don't have enough resources, that I don't have a large enough collection. Why should I even be talking about this kind of thing? But I have a voice. And what I lack in skill, I make up for in enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, God, this hair is so 80s. I love it. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. You have a great evening. And um, I'll see you next week.